Boeing's chief commercial officer, Stephanie Pope, confirmed the new contract will see the Puget Sound region team build Boeing's next plane. This factory in northwest Washington has built some incredible airplanes. It appears to be the U.S. giant's answer to Airbus's new A321 XLR. So what is this new plane? Can it help Boeing turn the tables on Airbus? Let's find out in today's episode. But before we start, if you're new, please leave a like and subscribe to help us build this channel. And you'll also be the first to see our new content in the future. Now, let's dive in. Boeing's yet-to-be-confirmed 797 new midsize airplane, or NMA for short, has been touted as a replacement for the single-aisle twin-engine 757 and the twin-aisle 767. With demand for medium and long-haul aircraft growing as airlines look to continue to increase capacity, the new twin-aisle design could compete with A321 XLR. As of 2024, Airbus has firmly established itself as the industry leader, excelling not only in strategic planning, but also in execution and delivery. Recently, Airbus marked a significant milestone by delivering the world's first A321 XLR to Spanish carrier Iberia, setting a new standard in long-range narrowbody aircraft. This achievement highlights Airbus's momentum and underscores its competitive edge in the market. In contrast, Boeing's future plans remain clouded with uncertainty prompting industry experts and observers to ask, when will Boeing officially launch its long-anticipated 797? While there is growing interest in what Boeing's next move might be, the company is currently grappling with multiple certification challenges. So how did the 797 come to be? Let's first look at the market gap it was meant to fill. Boeing's current aircraft lineup spans a range of routes from regional to ultra-long haul, featuring models tailored to meet various market demands. For regional routes, the 737 MAX family serves as Boeing's workhorse, while the mid-range 767 supports medium-haul operations. The 787 Dreamliner handles long-haul routes with its fuel efficiency and advanced design, and the 777 family caters to the growing demand for ultra-long-haul flights, offering extensive range and capacity. Among these aircraft, the 737 stands as Boeing's longest-serving model. Originally launched in 1967, it received its most recent update in 2017 with the 737 MAX, integrating modern engines and avionics while retaining much of its original design. Close behind, however, is the 767, Boeing's oldest wide-body model still in service. Introduced in 1981, the 767 has served airlines for over four decades, evolving to meet various roles across commercial and military applications. The latest variant, the 7672C, debuted in 2014 and functions primarily as a tanker and freighter, underscoring the aircraft's adaptability and longevity. However, the final passenger version, the 767400ER, introduced in 2000, saw limited demand with only 38 deliveries. Now, after 24 years in service, many of these 767 aircraft, along with the single-aisle 757, are nearing retirement age, prompting airlines to seek suitable replacements to modernize their fleets. To fill this emerging gap, Boeing has hinted at developing the new midsize aircraft, commonly expected to be named the 797. This new aircraft is anticipated to bridge the gap left by aging 757 and 767 models, addressing the market demand for an efficient, versatile aircraft capable of operating medium-haul routes with optimal fuel efficiency and passenger comfort. With the 797, Boeing aims to provide a next-generation solution for airlines looking to replace their aging mid-size aircraft, marking a significant step forward in Boeing's response to an evolving industry landscape. The existing 767 models carry between 214 and 296 passengers in a two-class configuration and offer a range of 3,900 to 6,590 nautical miles making them well-suited for a variety of long-haul routes. However, enter Boeing's proposed 797, which is anticipated to meet and even exceed the performance of the 767 while introducing new economic advantages. The 797 is expected to be a game-changer for intercontinental routes connecting medium-sized cities and could open up previously unviable markets for airlines by enabling routes that balance efficiency with optimal passenger capacity Back in 2017, Boeing Vice President Mike Delaney described the potential of the new midsize aircraft, suggesting that it could transform the 220 to 270 seat market 
much like the 787 Dreamliner did for the long haul segment. Boeing has actively sought industry input, consulting with 57 airlines to fine tune the NMA's design based on the specific needs and challenges faced by carriers. According to feedback reported by Slashgear, most airlines prioritize features that enhance passenger comfort, operational efficiency, and quick turnaround times, essential qualities for an aircraft intended for busy mid-range routes. Based on this input, the 797 is likely to be a twin-aisle wide-body jet offering a seating capacity of 220 to 270 passengers and a range of up to 5,000 nautical miles. This design approach is expected to deliver the necessary operational efficiencies to succeed the 767. Boeing first revealed its vision for the 797 at the 2017 Paris Air Show. This ambitious project aimed to leverage extensive composite materials to maximize fuel efficiency and reduce weight. At the time, Boeing's projected timeline was optimistic. Early configuration work was expected to begin in 2017, followed by assembly and testing in the early 2020s, with initial deliveries slated for 2025. The plan promised a new aircraft that would deliver operational efficiencies and capacity ideal for medium-haul, intercontinental routes. This optimism was short-lived. In 2020, following the fallout from the 737 MAX crisis, Boeing faced significant financial and reputational challenges, forcing a re-evaluation of priorities. David Calhoun, appointed CEO during this turbulent period, announced a strategic reassessment of the NMA program, signaling a more cautious approach amid Boeing's recovery efforts. The shift indicated that the NMA's development could be postponed indefinitely as Boeing redirected resources to address pressing issues with its existing fleet and reassess the market landscape. Since then, its concept and updates has been limited, fueling industry speculation and uncertainty. However, a recent development in September 20th, 24 renewed interest in the long-anticipated 797 project. Boeing's contract agreement with the International Association of Machinists and Aerospace Workers, IAM, confirmed Washington State as the chosen location for its next new aircraft production. This announcement sparked widespread speculation that Boeing might finally be resuming work on the NMA. Yet, questions remain as to whether this announcement represents a genuine commitment to the NMA or simply a strategic move to address labor relations and avert a potential strike. While initial development on the NMA began in 2017, Boeing has not formally launched the project and there is no official word on a timeline for assembly or testing. The reasons behind these delays remain largely undisclosed, though Boeing's challenges over recent years have likely contributed to the project's slower progress. Beside the MAX problem, the 777X program has also encountered significant delays, further straining the company's resources. Initially scheduled to enter service in 2020, the 777X is now targeting a late 2025 delivery as it remains in the extended testing and certification stages. The prolonged development of the program, particularly surprising for a program aimed at upgrading an existing model rather than creating an entirely new one, has underscored the operational and regulatory challenges Boeing faces. Together, these setbacks have delayed the NMA's anticipated timeline. Despite the ongoing delays, there is sustained interest among major airlines eager for a versatile. For some carriers, the NMA's anticipated features offer specific operational advantages. Copa Airlines, for instance, views the new aircraft's expected capacity and range as ideal for its network, allowing the carrier to operate efficiently on routes where larger jets, like the A330neo or 787, would incur higher operating costs. COPA sees the 797 as a bridge, offering range and seating that enable international connections without the added fuel and maintenance expenses of larger long-haul models. Qantas also sees significant potential in the new jet, especially for high-demand domestic routes in Australia. With its expected higher passenger capacity, the NMA would allow Qantas to accommodate more travelers per flight without requiring additional airport slots, a crucial benefit in crowded airports with limited space for expansion. In short, the NMA's projected efficiency, range, and capacity are proving attractive to airlines seeking a mid-market solution, and the industry continues to watch Boeing's next moves closely, anticipating a formal launch of the long-awaited 797. However, airlines still have competitive alternatives beyond Boeing. A 321neo and A321XLR, 
both part of the A320 family, offer impressive range and capacity that make them strong contenders for carriers needing versatile mid-sized aircraft. In addition, Airbus has plans to adapt its A330neo to serve the mid-market segment if airlines seek higher passenger capacity. This flexibility allows Airbus to address a broader range of needs within the market segment 797 aims to target. For Boeing, the pressure to compete with Airbus's established mid-market solutions is mounting. To regain momentum and recapture market interest, Boeing will need to focus on strategies to overcome its current challenges and ensure that any new offerings, such as the anticipated 797, bring powerful, competitive advantages to an increasingly demanding and competitive aviation market.